Hello, happy campers. Today we're looking at the Kamui camping chair. Now, can you get a good lightweight camping chair for less than 40 pounds? Let's find out. Hi, I'm James from Wilmness Redefined, and I'm here to give you practical tips to get out into the great outdoors. So today we're reviewing the Kamui camping chair, and we're going to look at five different rating criteria. So firstly, we have portability. Secondly, ease of setup. Third, comfort and stability. Fourth, durability. And finally, we have value for money. So portability. So the Kamui comes in this uh, small carry bag, which is small enough to fit in a backpack, but actually fairly generously sized. You can stuff all the components in without having to kind of squeeze it in too much. The chair is also really quite light. It comes in about 978 grams, which is pretty comparable to a lot of the kind of more expensive chairs in the market. I would say the bag is a little bit bigger than some of the pricier lightweight camping chairs. You can actually squeeze it down quite a bit in the bag. So I don't know if the dimensions are really accurate once you take that into consideration. Inside you have the fabric of the seat, the, the legs, which are in a kind of tent pole format, a shoulder strap, which allows you to clip to the sides of the bag and carry it over your shoulder if you wish. And then you have a little instruction manual for setting it up. Overall, I would say that this is a good size for a lightweight chair, but if you are part of the ultra light crew, that's quite a lot of space you're taking up in your backpack. So if you are very keen to shave off an like extra few hundred grams, and have a much more compact bag, you could go smaller potentially, but you'll probably have to pay for it. And just to say, there is one other way to reduce weight when you're camping, and that is the weight of responsibility. If you could drop a like and subscribe, that would be much appreciated. When it comes to setup, it's pretty simple. The legs are just like tent poles. They have an elastic shock cord running through them. So that means they all kind of snap into place. You just have to wiggle them around a bit to fit the right pole into the connecting pole. It sets up quite easily. Then the tent poles fit into the loops on the fabric. The first two are pretty easy to pop on. The two in the bottom are a little bit more of a struggle, particularly the first time you try it out. But it does get easier as the fabric adjusts over time. Overall, I found setup takes less than a minute once you get used to it, uh, and it is pretty simple. When it comes to comfort, these lightweight chairs, they're never gonna be as comfy as the big, heavy, conventional camping chairs, but they are better than sitting on the ground or sitting on a tree stump. I found the Kamui pretty comfortable, bearing that in mind. There is a bit of instability if you lean really far back, you're likely to tip over, so watch out if you're a heavy sleeper. And if you lean really far forward, but diagonally, think reaching for a drink, there is a chance of tipping as well. But overall, I actually did find the chair pretty comfortable. You feel quite well supported. And actually, even though there's no armrests, the fabric does kind of tighten and gives you a bit of underarm support. The other thing to bear in mind is it is quite a low seating position. You're only sitting this, this much off the ground. So if you have quite bad knees uh, or any problems getting up out of a low seat, these sorts of chairs might not be the right chairs for you. One quite unique feature of the chair is the disc-like feet on the end. Now, anyone who's used other lightweight camping chairs before knows that most of them have quite long prongs that sink into wet ground, and what was already a low seating position can become really quite low. I really like how Kamui have included this. Very few other chairs actually have this feature or have accessories that allow you to do this. Some people have resorted to buying tennis balls, cutting them open, and sticking them on the end of the legs because they find it so much of an issue with other chairs. Along with the pretty unique disc feet, Kamui also includes a mesh pocket on the side. Now this is well-sized for a book or a small bottle of water or keeping your keys or sunglasses. Uh, and it is a really nice addition over and above the other chairs on the market. Uh, you know, it is quite low to the ground, so you might not have an issue with this with other chairs, but it is nice that Kamui have included this, particularly if the ground is quite wet. A lot of these lightweight camping chairs look pretty fragile when you first set them up but it's actually quite surprising how much they can handle. The Kamui is pretty typical in that it has aluminium legs, a fabric bottom to the seat, and a mesh back. Like a lot of lightweight camping chairs, the pole connectors are made of plastic, so I'm going to keep an eye on these over the longer term to see how it holds up. Now, you should know that the Kamui chair is rated for 100 kilograms. Quite a lot of similar chairs are rated for 150 kilograms, and it surprised me that these differ so much. I suspect Kamui have been quite conservative with their estimate, I weigh about 100 kilograms and it had no problem handling my weight. But that being said, it is lower than what some other brands state. When it comes to weather performance, water does collect on the bottom of this chair, 
and it does soak in. So you will have to dry it off after it's been raining. I do like how there's a mesh back and that is pretty common with a lot of these lightweight camping chairs. It does just mean that when the weather gets hot, your back can breathe and there's less of a sweat issue. On to value for money. Okay, so this chair at the time of the review is being sold for less than £40, which is frankly really quite cheap for what you're getting here. There are a couple of chairs out there that are a few pounds less, but they don't come with these leg ends. They don't come with the pocket on the side. Uh, and really, I think paying a few pounds extra for those is probably worth it. Now, many of the most well-known lightweight camping chairs like the Helinox come in at about twice or three times the price of the community chair. I'm really quite surprised at how much value for money this chair is providing. I think this is really where this chair excels. So would I recommend this chair? I definitely would if you are more of a casual or beginner camper. If you want to see how much this chair is right now, I've left a link in the description. Let's take a look. Now, if you're more of an ultralight backpacker, you're going to want a chair that's a few hundred grams lighter and is going to be a little bit smaller in your bag. So overall, what do I think of the Kamui? Well, it's really quite lightweight, really at the top end of the market in terms of how light it is. The carry bag's pretty small. It's easy to set up. It's pretty comfortable barring a couple of stability issues particularly going backwards or diagonally. It feels very durable and certainly it's held up in my test so far. I'll report back over time if there are any issues. And the value for money, frankly, is where it really stands out. It's really quite incredible how much value it packs in. But is it the best lightweight camping chair in the market? Well, I'll be doing some testing of some other camping chairs in the next few months. So I'll put that video up there when it's ready to go.